afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and, and welcome to Ashland Middle School for Hopkinton Hillers Middle School Football, as today they are visiting the Ashland Clockers. Ashland is 1-0 and oh on the season. Hopkinton is 1-1. One and one. Tom Nappy on the call, Matt Clark on camera, and we are happy to have you with us for this HCAM broadcast of Hopkinton Middle School Football, the first season for middle school football here in Hopkinton. And the Hillers will kick off to the Ashland Clockers, left to right across your screen. And we are ready to get going here on this nice afternoon at Ashland High School. Isaiah Caruvilla will handle the kicking duties. And he gets it away, end over end, a pretty good kickoff there. Back to the 27 yard line, and it's going to be returned up the middle now. Coming towards the near side is Pat Duenelles on the return. Here he goes. He has some open room up the near sideline. And just like that, the Clockers on the board. An opening kickoff touchdown for Pat Duenelles and the Ashland Clockers. A return of 73 yards. Six to nothing, Clockers. Pat Duenelles showing off the wheels. Came across the field, found some open room, and was able to find the end zone. And now Ashland will attempt to. Looks like Pat Duenelles going to line up as the Ashland quarterback as well. Showing off the athleticism there. And I think you could look out for him on the Clockers High School team one day with that kind of speed. So Ashland now going to attempt two. Dwinnell's going to take it. Here he comes to the near side and it looks like he got in. Yes, he did. There it is, Clockers on the opening kickoff. Return it for 73 yards, plus the two-point conversion. That makes it eight to nothing, Ashland. Here in the first quarter. Certainly a great way to start off a ball game. That's if you're Ashland, of course. We'll see how the Hillers respond here after the long opening kickoff return. Hopkinton's had two very good games so far this season. And it was two very competitive games. They defeated Martha's Vineyard in their first game and lost to Marshfield last week. Ashland will kick off right to left. 77 degree day here at Ashland Middle School. Set to kick it away for the Clockers. Is number 58. Actually doesn't seem to be listed on the roster. And it's going to be a low sailing kickoff. Back to the 22. Here comes the Hopkinton return. Let's see how they respond. The return is up to about the 29 by Wyatt Stevens. And we'll get a look at the Hillers offense for the first time today. An eight nothing lead for Ashland here in the first quarter. An opening kickoff touchdown return plus the two point conversion. The quarterback for the Hillers today is going to be Rocco Horgan, a seventh grader. Oregon will line it up with a back to his left. It's Andrew Winslow. Two receivers spread out to either side. Oregon takes the snap. He'll hand it off. And not much of a gain there by Winslow. Good defensive play made by Liam Fleming of Ashland. That'll bring up second down. And 
14 to go for the Hillers. Wyatt Stevens coming in now as the Hillers quarterback. Stevens going to line up with Christian Pereira to his left. Two receivers spread out to either side. That's actually Andrew Winslow to his left. He'll hand it off to Winslow. Another great defensive play by Ashland. Jeff Britt getting through the offensive front, making the tackle on Winslow. Another small loss there for the Hillers. That'll make it third and 15 to go. Correction, third and 20 to go for the Hillers. Ball marked at the 19, first down marker at the 39. Wyatt Stevens, the quarterback. He's looking to throw here, rolls to his right, airs it out downfield, and that's a beauty of a throw. And it was knocked out of the arms of Seamus Murphy, a great defensive play. Bring up fourth down for the Hillers. They'll punt it away. I believe it was Jake Caveney on the defensive play. That was a beauty, knocking it right out of the arms of Seamus Murphy. Certainly got to secure that ball as soon as it falls in there. So Hopkinton will punt it away. Back to punt is Isaiah Caruvilla. First, it looks like we'll get a timeout here in the first quarter. Ashland leading Hopkinton eight to nothing. It's Hopkinton Middle School football on H Camp. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller volleyball team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name's Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I love H Camp. We love H Camp, and I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Cam TV. And I love H Cam TV. And I love H Cam TV. We love H Cam TV. Woo! Off the timeout, Hiller is facing a fourth down. Will likely punt it away here. Isaiah Curvilla out to punt for Hopkinton. 8 0 lead for Ashland. And this is going to be. A high punt that'll land at the 35 and take a Hopkinton roll back to the 43. And that's where Ashland will start. And we'll see the Ashland offense for their first time as the opening kickoff was returned for a clockers touchdown, plus a two point conversion to make it eight to nothing. The Ashland offense Going to be led by Pat Twinells. And he was the clocker to return the opening kickoff 73 yards for the touchdown. He'll hand it off here, run up the middle through a number of tacklers. Pretty good gain there on the carry for Ashland. That was number 37 for the clockers. That was Liam Fleming. Now bring up second down and one to go for Ashland. Dwinell's going to line it up at a shotgun here. We'll have Fleming to his left and two receivers spread out to either side. Motion on the right side, he'll hand it off. And here's a sweep here on the draw play. Good gain by Chris Dudley. Dudley able to work to the 25. There's a first down for Ashland. Big gain there.
Dwinnells once again in shotgun. And it's going to be a handoff to the man in motion, Dudley. And Dudley, a few more yards along the near sideline. Jet sweep there for Ashland. Ashland gets back up to the line. They have some good momentum going here. And we'll have a whistle before the snap. Looks like we'll have a timeout by Hopkinton. Timeout on the field. Ashland leading 8 to nothing here in the first quarter. You're watching Hopkinton Hiller's Middle School Football on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to Ashland Middle School, first quarter action. Ashland with some good momentum offensively. We're gonna have motion once again on the right side and now Dwinnells takes it, rolls to his right around one tackler and another up the far sideline into the end zone. And nope, they're gonna say he was out, it looks like just before the end zone. So he'll be down at the one it appears, but a big gain there for the clockers and that brings up first and goal from the one. Pat Dwinnell's showing off the wheels once again for Ashland. And he is certainly a threat with that speed. Dwinnells takes the snap, hands it off, run up the middle. Not much there, good defensive stand by the Hillers. P.J. Gassane on the run. Isaiah Curuvilla on the defensive tackle. And that's going to be a small loss for Ashland. That'll bring up second and goal from just prior to the one. So about a yard and a half to go. Back to the line goes Ashland. Dwinnells with a back to his left. He'll roll and take it up the middle. Right through a tackler into the end zone. Touchdown, Ashland. Good strong run by Pat Dwinnells, and it's 14 to nothing clockers. They'll attempt two. Tom Nappy, happy to be here to bring you Hopkinton Middle School football. Matt Clark on camera here at Ashland Middle School. And right now, things certainly going Ashland's way. Great turnout for this game as well. A number of Hopkinton fans showing up. And a, of course, a great amount of Ashland fans as well. For the two point conversion attempt. Dwinnells looks to his left, he'll throw to his left and it's batted down out of the air. Good defensive play there by Hopkinton. And I believe that was Isaiah Curuvillo who got the hand up to knock it down and the score will remain. Ashland 14, the Hillers nothing here in the first quarter as Ashland will get set to kick off.
And it's a low kickoff. End over end lands at the 35. Picked up at about the 25. And here comes Wyatt Stevens on the return. A good return here up the near side. There he goes. And all the way up to about the 30 before he's brought out of bounds. Chris Dudley making the stop, but a excellent return by Wyatt Stevens. And the Hillers will be marked in Ashland territory at the 32-yard line. So some well-needed momentum there for the Hillers. Wyatt Stevens into the game as the quarterback for Hopkinton. And he had a, well he's had two terrific games so far, but a great game in the first game of the season for Hopkinton where they got a victory over Martha's Vineyard. Wyatt Stevens going to line it up out of the gun. To his left it's Devin Canty. Takes the snap, the pitch to Canty. Here goes Canty, up the far side. First down and a little bit more here. And he takes it to about the 18-19 before he's brought down. So that'll move the chains for the Hillers. On the defensive stop, that was Pat Desliers for Ashley. Hiller's offense looking to respond after Ashland was able to find the end zone twice. It's Pat Dwinnells with a two yard touchdown run on the second touchdown of the game for Ashland. Two point conversion no good, score remains 14 to nothing. Wyatt Stevens at a pistol. He'll hand it off and a good run here. Off tackle goes Canty, stays on his feet and works his way to about the 15. We'll mark him down at the 14. And that'll make it second and six to go for the Hillers. Wyatt Stevens heads back over to the huddle. Wyatt Stevens, a player to look out for here over the next few years. Line it up out of the gun. Back to his right. Play action, rolls to his right. Here goes Stevens, around one tackler, another up the near sideline, and he's brought out of bounds right around the five. Good gain by Stevens, and that'll move the chains for Hiller's first down. I'll bring up first and goal from the five for Hopkinton. Designed keeper there for Stevens. A lot of action here in this first quarter. A couple touchdowns by Ashland, and maybe right now we'll see one by the Hillers. Stevens going to line it up with Devin Canty to his left. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap to pitch to Canty. Here goes Canty, and he'll reverse come to the near side, and he's brought down right around the line of scrimmage. A great defensive play. By Ashland there, Chris Dudley in on the stop. Second and goal from the five for the Hillers. All right, Stevens heads back out to the huddle.
Hillers are ready to go. Stevens with Canty to his left. Two receivers to either side. And it's a low snap, picks it up, throws to the end zone, and it's incomplete. That was intended for Seamus Murphy. Well, it was a good recovery off a low snap by Wyatt Stevens, but could not quite get the arc on the pass that he wanted. And it's now third and goal from the five. Up to the line goes the Hillers. Stevens with Canty to his left. Two receivers to either side. Takes the snap, throws to his right, and it is hauled in. Touchdown, Hillers. Seamus Murphy reels in the pass to get Hopkinton on the board. A five yard touchdown pass from Stevens to Murphy. That was a beauty of a pass by Wyatt Stevens right in the chest of Seamus Murphy. That is exactly where you want it. 14 to six, Ashland leading, Hopkinton to attempt two. Stevens will line it up out of the gun. Canty to his left, two receivers either side. And it's going to be a keeper. Here goes Stevens. And he's brought down short of the end zone. Good stop by Ashland. So the score will remain 14 to six. But a, a very impressive offensive drive by Hopkinton. And they are on the board. And now we'll see if the defense can make a stop and get the ball back. And right now we'll take a timeout. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Middle School Football on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. The Hillers set to kick off left to right. Ashton leading 14 to six. Handling the kicking duties is Isaiah Kiruvilla. And it is going to be an attempt at an onside, it looks like here. It'll end up out of bounds, so that'll draw the flag. And I believe they'll have to re-kick it. So that is going to do it for the first quarter. When we come back, Hopkinton will kick off to Ashland. At the end of the first, it's Ashland 14, Hopkinton 6. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Middle School Football on HCAM. 
Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. We have switched ends, and we are ready for the second quarter. Ashley, uh, Hopkinton with possession, or excuse me, Ashley with possession, Hopkinton just kicked off after they were able to find the end zone towards the end of the first quarter. And now the Clockers offense going to try to respond. Hand off here and not much yardage. And that's actually going to be a small loss. Cam and Tunic the running back and he's brought down for a loss of two. Robert Lischer in on the action for the Hillers. They'll bring up second down for Ashland. And as the quarterback is Luke Ribera for the Clockers. Takes the snap, rolls to his right under pressure. And he finds his receiver, Chris Dudley. And Dudley is able to take it up the near side for a little bit of a positive gain. But great defensive pressure by the Hillers. That brings up third down and... About nine to go for Ashland. We're at the start of the second quarter. Ashland leading Hopkinton 14 to six. But the Hillers defense trying to make a stand here. Luke Ribera out of the gun, hands it off. And not much of a gain there, good stop by Isaiah Kuruvilla on the rush attempt by Cam and Tunic. That brings up fourth down for Ashland and they mark him back to fourth and 11. Ashland quick to get back up to the line and it appears they will go for it. Luke Ribera out of the gun, is going to throw here, up the middle, and it is knocked down by the defender. Good defensive play there by Paul Isher. And that'll be a turnover on downs, a great defensive stand by the Hillers. The Hopkinton offense will head back out to the field. Tom Nappy on the call here from Ashland Middle School to bring you Hopkinton Middle School football on H cam. Matt Clark on camera here in the second quarter. It's Ashland 14, the Hillers 6. But the Hopkinton defense gets the job done and gets the offense back out on the field. And it looks like Andrew Peters will be the quarterback for the Hillers on this drive. I'm gonna check that Peters in the game as a receiver. As he, it'll be a White Stevens coming out to the huddle. Wyatt Stevens going to line it up out of the pistol, back to his right. Takes the snap, rolls to his right, and he's going to take this one himself. He loses the football, and it goes out of bounds along the far side. So that'll bring up second down for the Hillers, and that's just a relief there for Stevens that it ended up out of bounds. And it does appear it will be a small loss for the Hillers. It'll be marked back two yards, so second and 12 for Hopkinton. Stevens back out to the huddle. Why 
Wyatt Stevens lining it up out of the gun. And he's going to pitch it to the back. Getting the call here is Frankie and Cutto, the eighth grader, up to the 40 he goes. A good gain there. And that is a gain of seven for the Hillers. And that brings up third and five. Stevens going to line it up. Out of the gun, back to his left. Takes the snap, rolls to his left. Some pretty good blocking. Allows him to throw down the sideline. He throws it out of bounds. Nice job getting rid of it. And some pretty good blocking by Cooper Fossbender. Well, all the pressure came in from the clockers defense. Good blitz there. That'll bring up fourth down. The Hillers will likely punt it away. Have a timeout here. And it looks like, I believe it was called by Hopkinton. Second quarter, Ashland leading the Hillers 14 to sec, 14 to 6. It's Hopkinton Middle School Football on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits. And I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Continuing on in the second quarter, the Hillers ready to go. And they will punt it away facing a fourth and five from their own 40. Isaiah Caruvilla set to punt it away. Pretty good punt there and it'll sail back to about the 36. Here comes the return up the far side and Caruvilla going to bring down the kick returner. On the return it was Chris Dudley. He was looking for some open room along the far side but Caruvilla Able to get to him. The Ashland offense will come back out and have a chance to put up some more points. Last drive, the Hillers defense got the job done and forced the three and out. Pat Dwinnell's back in as the Ashland quarterback. Of course, at this level, you pretty much give everybody a shot to get in there. Dwinnell is going to line it up out of the gun, back to his right. Two receivers spread out to either side. He'll hand it off. Not much there. There is a flag in the backfield, perhaps a hold here. And this will go against Hopkinton. I believe offsides was the call. That'll push Ashland up five yards, make it a first and five from the 45. So a neutral zone infraction there by the Hillers. Both of these teams certainly uh, showing that they have some great talent out there. 
lot to be excited about for the Clockers and Hillers High School programs. Dwinnell's out of the gun, takes the snap. He's going to keep this one. Up the middle he goes, eludes one tackler, spins around another. There he goes, leaping on one foot for a couple extra yards. A first down for the Clockers. Dwinnell's working past midfield, brought down at around the Hillers 48-47. He's got to be careful leaping up like that, though, when he's getting held by a defender. It looks like he uh, he's just adjusting his helmet, but maybe a little shooken up. He'll head over to the sidelines. But such a good run there by Dwinnells. And he is a little shooken up, so he'll come out for a few snaps. Out of the gun, and Ty Lachewski fakes the handoff, and it is going to be stopped for a loss. Great defensive play there by Isaiah Curuvilla. So that'll bring up second and 11 for Ashland. Ty Letichewski, the quarterback for Ashland. Going to line it up out of the gun, back to his left. Two receivers either side, he'll hand it off. And a good run up the gut by Liam Fleming. Fleming powers his way forward. And he is stopped at the Hillers just between the 42, 43 yard line. So that'll bring up third. And about five to go. Clockers get back up to the line. Lachewski, the quarterback. Hands it off, and a great defensive stop there. Making the tackle, that was Sam Pantera. As he was able to get to the ball carrier, Liam Fleming. Fourth down for Ashland. They are marked at the Hillers 45 yard line. And it is now fourth and eight to go. Lost a three on that last play. Out of the gun, they go here. Takes the snap and it's going to be a punt by Letichewski and it'll sail back to the 30 and take a Hiller's roll forward to about the 32. So the Hopkinton offense will come back in after the Hiller's defense forces their second straight three and out. And we'll see how the Hopkinton offense Respawns here. We're in first half action. Late in the second quarter between Hopkinton and, a and Ashland. A 14 to six lead for the Clockers. Entering the game for the Hillers, Rocco Horgan and Joey Marcinowski. And it looks like Rocco Horgan's going to be the quarterback for Hopkinton. Horgan going to line it up out of the gun. The back to his left is Devin Canty. Two receivers either side, takes the snap, and we'll have a whistle. Flag on the play. And it's going to be a false start against the Hillers, so it'll push them back five. Ball is brought back to the 28. That'll make it first and 15 to go for Hopkinton. Rocco Horgan, the quarterback. 
Devin Canty, the running back to his left. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes a snap. He's going to throw to his right, and it is. No signal yet. Did he catch it? And I believe he did. It looks like he was able to hang on to it. Seamus Murphy with a catch. No. It looks like they're going to bring it back, so they're going to say incomplete. Incomplete pass there. So it just dropped right in front of Murphy's dive. But what an effort by the eighth grade receiver. That brings up second and 15 for the Hillers. Rocco Horgan at a shotgun. Takes the snap and he hands it off. Here goes Devin Canty, forcing his way forward for a couple yards. Canty was immediately surrounded by defenders, but able to get some positive yardage out of it. Adrian Bremen camp on the stop. That brings up third down for the Hillers. And about 12 to go. Rocco Horgan talking to his offensive huddle. Horgan going to line it up out of the gun. Canty to his left, two receivers either side. Takes the snap, looks to his right, throws the screen. It's hauled in up the far sideline. Here comes Canty. And a pretty good gain there as Canty works his way up to about the 39. But that will bring a fourth down for the Hillers. So that is fourth. And four to go for Hopkinton. And we'll see if the Hillers go for it here as they are in their own territory. But first, we're going to have a timeout called by the Ashland Clockers. We are in the second quarter. It's Ashland leading Hopkinton 14 to 6 on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will. Second quarter action, the Hillers with possession, facing a fourth down situation. It looks like they're gonna go for it. Rocco Horgan, the quarterback, out of the gun. Takes the snap, looking to throw. And we have a whistle. And a flag, I believe it'll be a false start, but let's see what the officials say. Ooh, it's gonna be a neutral zone infraction on the defense, so. Someone jumped too soon, and that is huge for the Hillers. That is going to push them up five, and I believe be enough for the first down. And it will be. So a big penalty there on Ashland gives the Hillers the first down. It'll be first and 10 from the 44. Rocco Horgan remains in at quarterback, out of the gun. Back to his left, hands it off. Here's Justin Sokol, and Sokol brought down in the backfield for a loss. Well, the Ashland defense jumps too soon, gives the Hillers a first down, but a big response there. On the tackle there, that was Pat Deslauriers for Ashland. Pat Deslauriers has made a few big plays for the Clockers on the defensive side of the ball. That brings up second down for the Hillers. 
And that pushed him back five yards, so second and 15. Rocco Horgan out of the gun. Sokol, the back to his left. Takes the snap. Throw, looks to his left and now will roll to his right. He's going to keep it. And he'll get back to about the initial line of scrimmage. Gain of five there. Good run by Rocco Horgan. Showing off the wheels. Third and ten for the Hillers. Well, facing a third and ten. It'll be interesting to see what the Hillers do here. Maybe open up the passing game. Oregon takes the snap, looking to throw. Up the middle, and it's just through the arms of his intended target, Cooper Fossbender. That'll bring up fourth down for the Hillers, and ten to go. And it looks like they'll bring out the punting unit. So Hopkinton will kick this one away. Some good defensive work by Ashland. Isaiah Curvilla to handle the kicking duties. The snap and the kick. Pretty good one. End over end, drops at the 30, and we'll take an Ashland roll up to the 32. And Wyatt Stevens getting the ref there as he was trying to put a stop to the ball. Just some accidental contact there. And that is going to do it for the first half of play. At the end of the half, the score remains Ashland 14, Hopkinton 6. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Middle School Football on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be. Uh, camp. We love, love H Camp, and I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV, and I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We, we love, love H, -Camp H Camp TV. Woo! Start of the third quarter. Ashland leading Hopkinton, 14 to six. You are tuned into Hopkinton Middle School football on H Camp. Tom Nappy on the call. Matt Clark, our cameraman. A nice day here at Ashland Middle School for some football. Temperatures in the low 70s. The sun's starting to peak out a little bit after a cloudy start to today's contest. Hopkinton will receive to start off the second half. We'll see if the Hillers offense can get anything going. It was 14 to six. After the first half, all the points were scored in the first quarter. The second quarter was a few great examples of both of these teams playing some solid defense. Set to kick it away for the clockers is Pat Dwinnells. Back to receive for the Hillers is Wyatt Stevens and Devin Canty. Stevens to the Right, Canty to the left. It'll be Stevens from the 25. Here he goes. Look out, he has wheels. Up the far side, across midfield, the 40, the 30, the 20. And he's brought out of bounds just before the 10. A big return for the Hillers. Wyatt Stevens showing off the wheels. That was a return of 
of about 63 yards by Stevens. Hillers will start off at the Ashland 12. Great way to start off the second half for Hopkinton. We'll see who the quarterback is this time out. It'll be Stevens. Stevens back into the game for the Hillers. Stevens going to line it up out of the gun. Canty to his left. Two receivers spread out to either side. Takes the snap. Looking to his left. He's going to take this himself. There he goes. Over to the near side. Around one tackle. Another into the end zone. Touchdown, Hillers. A 12-yard touchdown run on the keeper by Wyatt Stevens. And it is a 14 to 12 game. The Hillers to try to tie it up with a two point conversion attempt. What do they have planned for this play? Well, see how much success Stevens is having on the keepers. They might have him keep it again. Stevens will line it up out of the gun. Canty to his left. Now Canty's going to move over to that right slot. Takes the snap. And he's going to throw to his right. What a beauty of a design there. The two-point conversion is good. It's Wyatt Stevens the Seamus Murphy. And just like that, we are tied up at 14. Fourteen to fourteen, the Hillers have come storming back to start off this third quarter. A huge kickoff return by Wyatt Stevens. Leads to a 12-yard touchdown run by Stevens. And then Stevens to Murphy for the two-point conversion. The Hillers will get set to kick off. That certainly must get their confidence riding high here in the second half. It was a rough start for the Hillers as Ashland's Pat Dwinnells returned the opening kickoff 73 yards to make it 6 to nothing, plus the two-point conversion, which made it 8. And then later, Dwinnells had a two-yard run to make it 14 to nothing. No good on the two-point conversion. Return here from the 35. And a pretty decent return all the way up to midfield. That was Liam Fleming. And Fleming able to stay on his feet past a couple of tacklers and work his way up to very good field position for the clockers. He'll be marked right around midfield. And we'll get another look at the Ashland offense. Pat Dwinnell's back out there to take over at quarterback. Certainly good to see him back in the game. It looks like he was a little shooken up on a play earlier in the second quarter. But he's out there and ready to go. Dwinnells will line it up out of the gun with Fleming to his right. And we have motion. Left to right motion and he'll fake the handoff. It's a keeper, Dwinnells to the near side. And he's going to elude a couple of tacklers across the 40, the 30, the 20. There he goes. Touchdown, Ashland. Pat Dwinnells strikes right back. A 50-yard touchdown run, and it's 20 to 14 clockers. And now they'll attempt two. And 
And Ashland has struck back. Pat Dwinnells has all three clockers touchdowns today. And he's a player that I have a feeling you will see play a big role in a few years on the varsity team. A lot of speed, and he's going to keep it here. Pass one tackle, another tackle, and he's brought down short of the goal line. So the two-point conversion no good. The score remains Ashland 20, Hopkinton 14. The clockers strike back here in the third quarter. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Middle School Football on HCAN. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how it can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. The Ashland Clocker is getting set to kick off after responding to a Hiller's touchdown. Here's Wyatt Stevens with a big kickoff return over 60 yards, leading to a 12 yard touchdown run by Stevens on the keeper and a two point conversion. But Ashland has responded with a 50 yard touchdown run on a keeper by Pat Dwinnells. Two-point conversion, no good, so it is a six-point game. It has been a fun time to watch Pat Dwinnells go up against Wyatt Stevens. Two very good quarterbacks. As Dwinnells sends this one to the 30. And here comes Stevens. Up the near side, around a couple tackles. There he goes into open field at the 30, the 20, the 10. And he is going to be brought out of bounds just short of the goal line. Pushed out at around the two by Dwinnells. A huge return on the kickoff by Stevens. And that is going to be a 68 yard kickoff return by Stevens. And the Hiller is right back deep in Ashland territory. Stevens will stay in the game as the quarterback. He's gotta be gassed from a couple of huge runs already here in this third quarter, but he's ready to go. Certainly a lot of excitement in this game here between these two very good middle school programs. I see a lot of future varsity talent out there. Stevens going to line it up out of the gun. Canty to his left, two receivers either side. He'll hand it off, Canty up the middle, and I think he got in, yes he did. Touchdown, Hillers. Two yard touchdown run by Devin Canty. And Hopkinton has taken the lead. Or actually, excuse me, it's tied up at 20. So we're tied up at 20, and now the Hillers have a chance to take the lead with a two point conversion. Two-yard touchdown run by Canty, and that follows the 68-yard kickoff return by Stevens. And now the Hiller is going to try to take the lead here. Stevens is going to keep it. 
to the near side he goes, and he's brought down. This game's going to stay knotted at 20 apiece. We have ourselves a ball game here at Ashland Middle School. It's Ashland 20, Hopkinton 20. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Middle School football on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Third quarter here at Ashland Middle School, and it has been an offensive shootout in this quarter. The Hillers have scored two touchdowns already. Ashland responded after the first touchdown. We'll see if they can respond again as the Hillers set to kick off. End over end it goes. It'll land at the 32, be picked up at the 30. Here's Dwinnells, good stiff arm there. Spins around another tackle, up to the 40 and he's brought down. About a 10 yard return there and a nice job by the Hillers special teams getting downfield. There's Tommy Chatton bringing Dwinnells out of bounds. There is a flag as well on the return, maybe a hold here. And it looks like Ashland will be pushed back a little bit, so a hold on the play. That'll move the clockers back to the 25-yard line. Dwinnells in the game as the quarterback for Ashland. And it has become a showdown between Pat Dwinnells and Wyatt Stevens. Dwinnells going to line it up out of the gun. Back to his right is Liam Fleming. Two receivers spread to either side. Takes the snap. He'll hand it off. And it's a run up the near side for maybe a couple. Good defensive stop there by Tommy Chatton. It'll bring up second down and 10 for the Clockers. Or a little, actually, second and nine. They marked them at the 26. Well, this uh, middle school matchup, uh, good matchup to have this week with Ashland and Hopkinton High School matching up Friday night. Over at Hopkinton High School. It'll be a showdown between the 3 and 0 Clockers and the 2 and 1 Hillers. Of course, you'll be able to see that game right here on HCAM. Dwinnell's out of the gun. We have motion. And he'll fake the handoff. Play action up the middle. It's intercepted. And it's intercepted by Isaiah Caruvilla. Up the near side, and he's pushed out of bounds. Caruvilla read it very nicely and gets the Hillers offense the ball. The Hillers will have the ball at the Ashland 23-yard line. Well, all kinds of action in this third quarter. Wyatt Stevens with a 60-plus yard kickoff return, followed by a 12-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion's good. And that tied up the game at the time at 14, and then Pat Dwinnells responded with a 50-yard touchdown run for Ashland. And the Hillers since added another touchdown. Now they have the ball deep in Ashland territory after an interception. Stevens out of the gun, rolls to his right under pressure. Brought down in the backfield for a big loss. Great defensive play by Liam Fleming. The blitz was on that time, and Fleming with a nice move around the offensive lineman to get to Stevens. And that'll bring up second down for the Hillers. They need to get to the 
13 for the first down. Marked at the 30, second and 17 for Hopkinton. What does Wyatt Stevens have in store here? I predict in two, three years, you might see Wyatt Stevens and Petwinels matching up at quarterback in varsity uniforms with the way they've been playing this season. Stevens with a back to his left, takes the snap and he'll fling it over to the running back and it's incomplete. I'll bring up third down, it was a forward pass to Canty. Third and 17. A little big defensive play by Hopkinson, got him deep in Ashland territory. Now let's see if the Clockers defense can respond here. Stevens back out to the huddle. Hiller's second touchdown of the quarter was a 68-yard kickoff return by Stevens, followed by a two-yard touchdown run by Canty. Stevens out of the gun, takes the snap, rolls to his right, throws to his right, it's incomplete. Intended target, Seamus Murphy. Stevens met with a big hit right after he got rid of the ball by Tim Connors. Stevens rolled out of the pocket and went to throw there. Connors delivering the hit. Brings up fourth down and 17 for the Hillers. And they'll need a big play upfield here to keep this drive going. This has been an exciting football game to say the least. 20 to 20 between Ashland and Hopkinton. Stevens out of the gun, back to his left. Two receivers either side. Takes a snap, looks to his left, now looks to his right. Going to air this one out, and it is nearly picked off. Knocked out of bounds. Intended target, Andrew Peters. And a good defensive play by Jake Caveney for Ashland. And it's a turnover on downs. Ashland will send their offense back out. Well, the defense is coming up big on the last couple drives. An interception for the Hillers, followed by a... Green out by the Ashland defense. And we're in the third quarter here, and I'd imagine uh, quarter coming to an end soon. I believe Ashland will have time for a couple more snaps before the quarter expires. Dwinell's out of the gun. I'm back to his left, and we have motion. Dwinell's going to hand it off here on the end around, and this play is going to be stopped. We have a flag. I think someone might have jumped for Ashland, but let's see what the officials say. And that'll push Ashland back five. First and 15 from the 25. Well, it was a 14-6 first quarter in favor of Ashland, scoreless second quarter. And then here in this third quarter so far, it's 14-6 Hopkinton. That has us knotted up at 20. Dwinell's out of the gun, back to his left, two receivers either side. Takes the snap, looks to his left now, looks to his right, going to air this one out. And it's hauled in at midfield. A big reception there. And to the end zone he goes, Chris Dudley takes it to the house. A 75-yard touchdown reception. Dwinell's to Dudley. 26-20 Ashland.
a long touchdown reception by number 34, Chris Dudley. And now Ashland will try to complete the two-point conversion. Pat Dwinnell showing off the arm there. He saw Dudley wide open up the middle through over the head of a couple of defenders and put that one right in Dudley's chest. A rainbow of a pass. Dwinnell's out of the gun. Looks to his right, now under pressure. Going to roll to his left. There he goes, around one tackler and another into the end zone. Two point conversion's good. 28 to 20 Ashland. Pat Dornell's taking the offense on his back. We are in the third quarter between Hopkinton and Ashland and it's been an offensive shootout in this quarter, and we will see how the Hillers respond next on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Ashland 28, Hopkinton 20. The Ashland offense responds in a big way. Dwinnell's connecting with Dudley for a 75-yard touchdown reception. And Dwinnell's set to kick it away for the clockers. Here, towards the end of the third quarter. If this fourth quarter is anything like this third quarter, we're in for a treat. And it looks like they're trying the onside there. No one on the Hillers touched it. So that is going to give Hopkinton very good field position. We'll start off with possession at the Ashland 47. So a miscue on the onside kick attempt there. Hillers will bring the offense back out. And they're gonna put Rocco Horgan back in at quarterback. Hillers will be marked at the Ashland 48 yard line. And Horgan will march out to the offensive huddle. Rocco Horgan We'll line up out of the gun. Andrew Winslow to his right, two receivers either side, drops the snap and he's able to cover it up. Second down and a loss of yardage there for the Hillers. Hopkinton marked back at their own 47. So a loss of Five on the play. Second and 15 for the Hillers.
Corgan out of the gun. To his left is Winslow. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Under pressure, and he's brought down in the backfield. Petta's Lawyers getting in there to make the sack. And that'll bring up third down for the Hillers. We'll have the ball at their own 39. They need to get up to the Ashland 38 for the first down. So it'll make it third and 23 for Hopkinton. Corgan out of the gun. Back to his left, two receivers either side. Takes the snap, the blitz is on. He is able to find Sokol to his left, and Sokol will take it forward for a few. He's brought down at the, around the uh, 42, and we'll bring up fourth down for the Hillers. So they'll bring out the punting unit. Isaiah Curuvilla out to handle the kicking duties. Well, it's been a fun game between these two programs, Hopkinton Middle School and Ashland Middle School. Of course, at this level, you're just out there to have fun, get some experience, get everybody in there at many different positions. And these kids are certainly having fun out there today as Curavilla has a pretty good punt there. And it takes a Hopkinton roll from the 40 all the way to about the Ashland 32. So the clockers bring their offense back out. 28 to 20 lead for Ashland. was being asked by the official to get a game ball out there. So we'll get a look at the clockers offense. It looks like Tyler Chevsky in there as the quarterback. He'll keep this one and be brought down for not much. That's gonna be a loss. Good play by the defense. I believe that was Paul Lisher on the stop. Second and 12 for Ashland. Pat Twinell's back in there as the quarterback. <laughs> Twinell's lines it up with a back to his left, two receivers either side. Takes the snap, looks upfield, gonna air this one up the right side. It's hauled in, then dropped. Chris Dudley nearly had it, but a great defensive play to knock it out. Third and 12 for Ashland. <laughs> Dwinell's in the offense, head back up to the line. Out of the gun they go, low snap. Dwinell's able to pick it up, he's gonna keep this one. Over to the near side, able to stiff arm one tackler. 
Wrapped up by another, but is able to slip out of it. Spins around another, brought out of bounds. Along the near side at around the 45. Well, it was Isaiah Curuvilla able to get in there and slow him down. And that is a Ashland first down. It'll move the chains and mark the clockers at the 43. So it looked like it was going to be a Loss of yardage there as the immediate pressure came in from the defense, but a nice job by Dwinnells. And that is going to be a timeout by the Clockers. And the score remains 28 to 20. Ashland leading Hopkins in its middle school football on H Camp. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Off the timeout, the clockers bring their offense back out to the field. Back in at quarterback, it's Tyler Ochevsky. He'll line it up out of the gun, back to his left, takes the snap, and he's going to hand it off, run up the middle. And uh, wrapped up by a number of defenders is Liam Fleming, able to push his way forward to get close to midfield. Good job by Fleming staying on his feet. Ball marked at the 48. Bring up second down for Ashland. And five to go. Lechevsky back out there as a the quarterback. Lechevsky out of the gun, back to his left. Takes the snap. Hands it off and immediately met in the backfield by Robert Lisher. It is Liam Fleming. Lisher with a good defensive play there. And that'll be a loss of yards for Ashland. That'll push him back four. Ball mark now at the 44 yard line, third and nine for the Clockers. Pat Dwinnell's in there at quarterback. Dwinnell's with Fleming to his left, takes the snap, looking to throw. He's going to air this one out over the middle, and nearly making the catch was Jake Caveney. The ball came out. A great defensive play. I believe it was Andrew Budden. Getting in there along with Isaiah Curuvilla. That brings up fourth down for Ashland. There has been some great displays of defense by both these teams here today. They'll punt it away. It's a high punt, end over end, along the far side it goes. And it lands at the 31 and takes a roll up to about the 34. And the Hillers will bring their offense back out. And that quarterback for Hopkinton is Wyatt Stevens.
Killers starting from their own 35. Stevens out of the gun, drops the snap, and he's going to pitch it to the back to his, to his right. It's Devin Canty. Here comes Canty. Up the near side to midfield, and he's brought out of bounds. Making the stop was Chris Dudley, but a great run by Canty and a great recovery by Stevens. Hillers move all the way to the 49, enough yardage for the first down. It's Ashland 28, Hopkinton 20. It's been a fun game here at Ashland Middle School here today. Stevens going to line it up out of the gun. Canty to his right. Two receivers either side. Play action, throws to his right, and it's hauled in at around the Ashland 49 by Seamus Murphy. Brings up second and eight for the Hillers. Timeout on the field. It's Ashland 28, Hopkinton 20. You're tuned into middle school football on H Camp. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Hiller's back up to the line, set to go. Wyatt Stevens, the quarterback, and he hands it off to Canty, who's met in the backfield. And bringing him down for the stop is Liam Fleming. Canty was just able to die back to about the line of scrimmage. Ball is marked at around midfield. We are in the fourth quarter. 28-20 lead for Ashland. Stevens out of the pistol, throws to his right, hauled in by Murphy, and he's brought out of bounds at the Ashland 40. Well, we never really got a clear sign that it was the end of the third quarter from the officials, so we're left guessing here. But it is the fourth quarter, as we've been told. Brings up fourth down for the Hillers. Fourth and about two to go, a little more than two. What do they have in store here? You know, we were told it is the two minute warning. So not a whole lot of time left in this one. This could be the Hillers last opportunity on offense to try to get back in this game. Stevens with Canty to his right, takes the snap, rolls to his right, and he drops the football. And it is going to be picked up, I believe, by the Hillers. It looks like it was Evan Van Beek who was able to come up with it, a lineman. Or maybe not, let's see, Ashlyn might have had that one. It exchanged a number of hands. Van Beek was the last one with it, and it is going to be Ashlyn football. So the Clockers with a fumble recovery here in the fourth quarter. Big momentum shift there. Yeah. 
Dwinnells going to hand it off. Here's Fleming, up the middle, fights his way to midfield. I'll bring up second and about five to go for Ashland. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout. It's Ashton 28, Hopkinton 20. You're tuned into Middle School Football on H Camp. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my Gal and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be uh, camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Woo! Second and five for Ashland. Clockers trying to close out this game up 28 to 20. It's a handoff here. And brought down by a number of tacklers is Liam Fleming. Andrew Budden in on the action for the Hillers defense. It'll bring up third and nine, a loss of four. Good stop by the defense. Another timeout call. We'll keep things right here. You're tuned in to Hopkinson Middle School football on HCAM. It's been a fantastic game between these two teams. Ashland leading Hopkinson 28 to 20. An action pack first quarter, a 14 to 6 first quarter in favor of Ashland. And in the third quarter, Hopkinson able to outscore Ashland 14 to six, and Ashland was able to add another touchdown later on. And now the Clockers trying to close it out, up 28 to 20. We have motion, it's going to be a keeper by Dwinnells, and he's able to elude one tackler in the backfield, up the far side he goes, across midfield, eludes another tackler. And it looks like he stepped out of bounds. The official going to say he stepped out of bounds in Hopkinton territory at around the 38. That will move the chains for the clockers. And that should do it. They might have to snap the ball another time or two, but. Indeed, have to snap the ball. Donnell's going to line up under center. Looks like victory formation. And there it is, victory formation. The Ashland Clockers are going to take it. 28 to 20. The Clockers going to defeat the Hillers this afternoon. Here at Ashland Middle School. An impressive game by both these teams. Certainly showing off a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Whole lot of fun to watch. Both these teams battled hard here today. Certainly a lot to be proud of for both sides. The Hopkinton Hillers now one and two Ashland. 2-0 oh, as they get the 28-20 victory. A very fun game between these two teams. And at this level, it's all about learning. It's all about developing your skills. And it's all about just getting some experience. And that's what both teams got here today. And all those players out there, I'm sure, had a whole lot of fun as this was a very exciting game. The final score for the final time, Ashland defeats Hopkinton 28-20. Matt Clark was our cameraman. I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for joining us, and we'll stay live. We'll get the handshake on film, but thank you for watching Hopkinton Middle School Football on HCAM. <laughs>